Happy Friday, everybody. Standing ovation back again with another break. This time I've got myself a box of SB Authentic. Oh, yeah. I've been uh, putting off breaking this stuff because I saw it overpriced right from the day of release. And sure enough, well, I not a huge big savings, but I got this for uh, under $300 a box now. $285, I think this one cost. Again, plus tax. I think that comes to just under $330 Canadian. I still see it uh, going down a little bit more. I see some cases coming up available in the secondary market, which to me indicates that this stuff's got a little bit room to go even lower. But, you know, it's SP Authentic. It's not going to go that low as uh, it's the product that everybody wants. This is the one that puts the rookies out that go up in value. And uh, who knows who it'll be right now. It's Kaprizov and Stutzel and Robertson and uh, the like. You know, I guess Lafreniere, you can't forget about him. And, you know, amongst a bunch of other guys, it's a pretty good year. But, you know, with the 2021, 21, 22 delays and all that stuff, this stuff, I guess, and it, it's quite heavily milked down now with, what, one autograph, one future watch autographed per box. And you might get a patch. I guess, what, there's one or two in an there. I've seen uh, Ziri open up a case there that had three patches in it. One of them, I think, was a retro. But there's so many different autos now. You can get the Future Watch Retros. There's the Sign of the Times. There's the Base Autos. There's the Black Autos. And again, I've never pulled a Black Auto. But there's the Inscribed Autos, which I've never pulled either. I wouldn't mind hitting one of those. But who knows? There's so much stuff in this. And then there's a whole lot of nothing in this. The Red Parallels are kind of whatever. And I'm looking for my knife. I can't find my knife. I can't find my knife. Can't have a break. Hold on, folks. All right, I'm back. I got my knife. I was having... Uh, things disappear and one of them was the knife I got it back and everything's well again okay so here we go the breakdown of my first box of SP Authentic I think prior to this I've opened up 11 packs I counted up the inserts I had and uh, I don't know if you can catch any of all that it's pretty small here I'll go put it in a closer there we go and move it along and let's hope I hit something really deep because uh, if I do, I might get more. But again, I'm watching the prices and uh, we'll see. We'll see. There's so many other things that are going to be coming out in the next couple of weeks. In the expo and in the fall and all that. I don't know. Like I say, I don't know. I haven't looked at the schedule as to what's next, but I know things are right around the corner. Plus, there's stuff on sale right now, too, so. Who knows? Let's see. Where are we going to start? Uh, let's make this like it's a real hobby box and you're in the store. Just because. Um, yeah, let's just start at the left and go left to right. Uh, yeah, left to right or right to left. I don't know. That's the way it works. But, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to be pleasantly surprised by something. Again, though, I hit one future watch auto. In the 11, those 11 packs I did open, I hit uh, Connor McMichael, which I put up on eBay, I think, for, was there 125 I believe it went for? Okay, here we go, Barkov. Right off the bat, we're going to have Ovi and Gruen. And oh, it's a red. we got Darcy Kemper. Yeah, if I push that back a little bit, we can maybe get our cards in here. Yeah, base is the base. And uh, that's why you choose the 100 card base set that nobody ever really seems to want. Okay, it goes Eichel, and Schmaltzy, and Malkin Retro, Aho Rene. Okay, and we got a decoy in that one or a patchy patch. I'm going to say decoy. And I'm wrong. It looks like it's a patchy patch. Nope, it's a decoy. I don't know if I get excited about those patches because I've never pulled anybody really big. I pulled patches, pulled some three colored ones, but nobody ever really uh, spec. Spec. Nobody really spectacular. This one's got the Spectrum, FX Base of D Boss, Larkin, Crosby and Larkin again. Follow us. Collect the best. 
Okay, how long till Upper Deck gets bought by Fanatics? I don't know if they're going to buy the little guys. But upper Deck maybe doesn't want to get bought by Fanatics. Who knows? Put my hand right up in there so you guys can see all the crap. Hold on. Holy snap! Let's just calm down. Let everything focus. Focus. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I'm on my quest for the holy grail of hockey cards. Not sure what it is, but I'll find it. And that's another Spectrum coming up. Brett Burns! Future Watch. Spectrum of the Geek. Morgan Geeky. Now with the Seattle Kraken. Wilson and Stamkos. So there's those out of the way. Looks like no, uh, no, no SIGs yet. No autos, no SIGs. Last two packs of the left stacks. That's the fact, Jack! And we'll rip into this one. A little tiny piece of pack to start. You know. There we go. And this and that. And Shesterkin. Eric Stahl is a Buffalo Sabre. Ryan O'Reilly and John Klingberg. And below here we have Ch Chase Prisky. Future Watch. Auto. Chase Prisky. I have not been following your career. Defenseman for the Florida Panthers. And a two twenty nine of nine ninety nine. Well, he's from Pembroke Pines, Florida, and he's playing for his. Oh, that's kind of neat. You get to play for your hometown team. Hope you're good. You get to play for a while. You stick around. That Florida team's actually looking better this year. So, well, let's see. We'll see. So there's uh, my one and only future watch. I'd like to hit another one. Like that guy's kind of. Hmm. I'd like to hit like a nice big big name of a uh, up and coming superstar. Here's another fat pack, which is kind of weird being in the uh, bottom of the bottom of the stack. This could be, might it be? It is. Looky, looky, folks, it's white. Let's save that one. Let's save that one. <laughs> I'm not. I'm getting a little excited. Oh, I can't contain myself. Yeah, we'll see. I'm uh, like I say, I'm pretty good at pulling, pulling napkin patches. I really can't say I remember. Andrew Hammond was probably the biggest one I pulled at the time, but the Hamburglar kind of disappeared right after he was hot for the first year of his career. There's Nico Heischer in a red stained card. All right, and uh, here we go. This is the middle stack again. I just pulled these off the screen a little bit. They're right there. Trust me, they're there. I guess I could put them over here. I've got more room than I thought I did. This camera's angle is uh, set up uh, kind of lopsided for me. All right, so I guess I can expect not a lot more signatures coming out of that because that little sucker there has got an autograph pack in it. And we got Rasmus Dahlin. Retro. Quinn Hughes and Jack Hughes. Is that Quinn Hughes and Jack? No, he's sure Hughes. Back to back, Jack. Oh, no. See, I'm cheating. I'm cheating on myself. Here's another one of them fat packs. So, I guess you'd say if you hit more than two, thick, one thick pack in, a, in one stack, you're going you're gonna to have a patch, perhaps. Okay, there's Klingberg in a celebrated moment. Celebrations begin. Brady to Chuck and Zach Parise. Yeah, well, that's sort of uh, the way that would make sense. Because I think they put one decoy card in every stack. So if you have technically four fat packs in a box of 18, chances are one of those is a fat pack. Is a, is a, is going to be a future watch patch or a limited auto patch. There's a true leader, Nick Foligno, or Nick Foligno, as some people like to say. I don't know who those people are, but... I'm sure there's some out there. Okay, Nick Foligno. I'll put that one up there and that one up there. Like that there. And you can see everything all there. Right in front of us. Right there like that there. Okay. And the last pack out of the middle stack. Whoops, I ripped that right off camera. It's like, you know, I forget. That's why I'm doing this. In case something really big pops out. you got to catch it on film. A little PLD action. And there's a little PLD action on the bottom too. Doubled up on my PLDs. Okay, let's just get the box out of here now. And we have our 
we, as in me, have uh, six packs in there. And again, oh, this last one over here. It's just, it's all, maybe this is counter to my theory because this one's a fat pack too. So maybe every stack has two fat packs per stack. Is that the way that works? I don't know. I'll open up a couple more boxes of these eventually. Maybe, probably, maybe, probably. There's Big Joe Jumbo Beard Thornton. I think he's probably the only one that thinks that's a cool looking beard. But you know what? I guess if you're sporting something like that, that's all that really matters. You know, there's probably some Hells Angels or something out there. I don't know, mean the Hells Angels, but them biker types that like the big bushy beards that I must stereotype. Uh, I gotta edit this video because, my gosh, I don't want the Hells Angels after me now. It's because I'm making fun of Joe Thornton's beard. God, what am I on? Okay, well, here we go. This is the third and final stack of six. The right hand stack, as some people call it. That's what I'm calling it. And there's our red card, Ryan O'Reilly, Brock Besser, Philip Gubauer. And uh, how the hell did I start talking about bikers? Holy cow. It's just that, it's that Joel Thornton creepy beard. I mean, it just freaks me out every time I look at him. I remember him when he was just a smooth, skinny, tall, blonde headed kid that. Was really tall and yeah, him and uh, Chara, man, they just they just they just go on forever. I guess Chara, well, except for Chara who just retired, but yeah, that was a long career, man. 95, 96 rookie card. I think it was the 95, 96. One of the first ever future watches, if I'm not mistaken. 97, 98. Maybe that was it. Can't remember. I think it was 95, 96. Back when uh, they didn't even SP the future watches. It was just like a foil card. Brandon Gallagher. John Gibson. True leaders, Sidney Crosby. And he is a true leader. He's getting a lot of flack this year. I don't know why they're all people dogging on Crosby. Just because he's been around for a while, I guess. He's an auto Ovechkin. I don't know. I've seen some hate on for him on some forums there. That guy's like the best player in the world, or was at some point, and could be again any given night. Speak of the devil, there's a penguin on the back. Gino, there's Olson. Carlson, celebrated moments of Alexi Lafreniere. And uh, yeah, here we go to the last, second last pack of the right hand stack of six. Bohar. Elias Pedersen, Retro, Braden Point, Bailey and Barzal. And, yeah, so there you go. Two thick packs per stack. So there, I guess you can't really predict anything out of that. But I'm lucky because one of my thick packs is a special one. And it's almost time to open it. All right, and Drew, no longer with the Philadelphia Flyers. Where did I just put my virtual leaders? There they are. And I'm looking around and they're right in front of me. All right. This is what we're here for, folks. I'm hoping I can present to you a big banger of a hit. Because uh, cause it'll be mine. And I, I, I'll like, I'd really enjoy hitting a big banger card. You know, to be honest, I'll probably just flog it and go bore it and buy some more. But if not, maybe it'll be a collectible. One I'll put into the, the keepers. <laughs> Dougie, Anthony, Braden, Wawerenski. I don't know how to slow roll it because I'm not as good as all the uh, all these pro breakers. One of these days, you guys got to follow me. And that reminds me, follow me on uh, YouTube here, Standing Ovation, and uh, drop a like if you want. Oh, it's the Ataro Haros. There you go. It's the last year's auto patch of a Red Wing. Not the Red Wing I really wanted to see, I must say. If that was like a Cider or a Raymond, that would have just been spectacular. But last year's update of Terra Horos. Well, there you go. It's a nice Red Wings patch for the collectors. And number 50 of 100. So Terra Horos is, uh, yeah. It kind of had me for a second. As soon as I saw the tarot, I was, uh, I was thinking exactly what I was thinking. And there you go. I'm pretty happy, I guess. I really would have liked to have a really big card, but I'll be happy I just hit a patch. 
All right, folks, we'll take it easy and keep on watching because I got a couple more boxes to break. And uh, as I say, enjoy your Friday and I'll catch you again soon. Keep on breaking.